So hey everyone. So in this particular video, uh, we are meeting to discuss about uh, the topic. Wait a second. Yeah. So the reason we are, uh, you know, this uh, video I'm making is to discuss about the the topic that we had uh, sort of missed uh, during our regular classes. Uh, those topics were, see, this is syllabus, uh, you know, I just want to just brush you through this uh, independence, basis, dimensions, and uh, especially the rank nullity theorem. Okay. Hmm? So I just want you to, you know, discuss this uh, rank nullity theorem. So as you might have been, uh, you know, you might have seen that uh, we have not never gone into theory theoretical aspects, but uh, we just know how to solve the numericals if they are, uh, you know, if they at all they come. Yes, of course, numericals usually come. So we will discuss today a little bit about rank nullity theorem. We'll discuss uh, one problem on linear transformations. Okay, so what those linear transformations are and what sort of uh, uh, problems uh, may come. And then uh, one more thing is projections and least squares okay it's a very interesting uh, thing projections and least squares so come let us get uh, started so the four fundamental uh, subsp uh, subspaces of matrices so one is column space null space row space now we don't discuss much about row space because row space is nothing but it is the column space of a transpose then there is left null space, which is the null space of A transpose. So here, for example, I'm taking two of the matrices here. One is 1, 3, 2, 7. Another one is 1, 3, 2, and a 6. Okay, so what is meant by a column space? Column space is, uh, you know, all the area spanned by the two vectors or three vectors. Area spanned by all the vectors usually suppose uh, i have this first vector 1 3 and second vector 2 7 okay the column space contains all the resulting uh, you know uh, space uh, which will be you know uh, created okay uh, by combining 1 3 and 2 7 with different values of x1 and x2 okay so which is usually represented by uh, we call it as span okay Suppose x1 equal to 0 and x2 equal to 0, it includes origin also, which is one of the rule of a subspace. It should include origin. If x1 is 1, x2 is 0, then I will get just 1, 3. If x1 is 0, x2 is 1, I will simply get 2, 7. But then if x1 is 2, x2 can be 4 and so and so. And uh, you end up getting usually uh, something like, uh, okay, wait a second. Hmm. You end up getting usually, suppose uh, you have your x1 and then, okay, wait a second. Uh, okay. <laughs> suppose you have your uh, x1, some vector x1, some vector x2, then you will end up uh, usually spanning uh, entire a plane in maybe two dimension because there are two vectors. You usually span a plane in uh, two dimensions. Okay. <laughs> that is why they call it as a span. Okay. And they usually write it like this. Okay. So, if at all I have one more uh, vector here, then I, it would be x1 multiplied by 1, 3, x2 multiplied by 2, 7, plus x3 multiplied by one more vector, okay, hmm? something like that, okay, that's how it uh, works, okay, hmm? but uh, is it the case uh, all the time? Now, see here, in this particular vector, now there is one more, um, you know, matrix B, this also contains two vectors, one is 1, 3, and the other one is Two, six. Okay. Now the question is, what is the dimension of this second vector B? As I told you in this particular first vector, suppose my first vector was say, this is my first vector. Okay. Hmm. Uh, one, three and say this was my second vector. Then all of them, this vector would, you know, expand horizontally. This one would expand uh, uh, so and so and eventually it would make a plane okay that's the assumption that's why i use the word span whereas if at all i take this particular case do you see here one three and two six are highly 
related. So the second column is nothing but a multiple of 1, 3 by space 2. So even if I take this combination, some x1 and some x2, uh, since uh, the second column is nothing but first column multiplied by 2 itself, this particular thing, it's simply the vector 1, 3 and uh, any multiplying it by any number is simply going to, you know, make it uh, move in this particular direction only back and forth in this particular direction only. So it is not going to span a plane, but it is simply going to turn into a line. Okay. Hmm? Got this. Are you getting an idea of a column space? Two matrices. The first matrix turned out to be a span of uh, two dimensional space. Okay. Hmm. Whereas this particular second matrix, since the second column was highly related to the first column, we are simply getting the column space is simply span of the matrix 1, 3. Whereas the first one was a span of two matrices, uh, vectors, sorry, 1, 3 and 2, 7. Okay. That's column space for us. Hmm? That is column space for us. Similarly, what is the next thing? Uh, now let us go to the next topic, the null space. Okay. So let us go to the, wait a second. One second here. Okay. Now we have come to the null space. Okay. Now we have come to Null space. So, what is it with the null space? By the way, the column space was we are talking about was it was all about you know uh, this one one three scale by some value two seven scale by some value and they would span okay uh, by any value multiple. Here we are talking about this particular situation where you get to multiply with some x one and x two and you should end up getting a zero zero. The condition is. We are exploring, are there any values of x1 and x2 other than 0? Okay, we are trying to explore, are there any values of x1 and x2 other than 0? Say, for example, in this particular case, um, the first case, 1, 3, 2, and 7. Let me take uh, x1 and x2 here, 0, 0. So, I multiply, I try to solve them, and uh, I do multiply the first row with some 3. And I eventually find out that x2 equal to 0 and automatically x1 also becomes 0. So you can see this one here is nothing but origin. Uh, it's a vector and which is there at origin only. So this is null space is a null vector. It's a 0. Okay. Hmm. It is a 0. Okay. It's a dimension. No. It is neither a line nor a space. Okay. Nor a plane. Okay. Nor a space in 3D. Okay. Whereas for the second particular case, okay, where I have, oh, sorry, 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 okay. Whereas in this particular case, you can put this particular matrix, what do I have? I try with uh, x1 and x2, x2 and I try to solve them. I get an equation x1 equal to minus 2 into x2. I take for some reason, which I will clarify later, I take for some reason x2 equal to 1, for which x1 gives me minus 2. Now you can see x1, x2, I got this particular value and this value is not 0. Okay, here I got a value which is nothing but 0. For the second case, I did not get a value 0. Uh, what did I get? A minus 2 and a 1. I think uh, what is this indicating that uh, column 1 and column 2 are sort of related and what is the scaling factor scaling factor is 2 see column 1 and column 2 okay <laughs> okay okay let's not get into much but the only thing is what happened was the null space here was not origin but instead we ended up getting a uh you know a vector here okay we ended up getting a vector dimension what is the size of this by the way one it's a line right it's a single vector it's a single vector that's why i would call it as one dimension okay i would call it as uh, one dimension okay hmm. and uh, what what happened here by the way we saw that uh, column one and column two were sort of related right column one multiplied by two is column two that is why we ended up getting a vector x1 x2 which is not equal to zero do you see here even the rows and are also related so row one multiplied by three is nothing but row two okay hmm. uh, this thing is also there we'll come to this 
So we saw two things. There was something called as a column space and there was something called as a null space. Okay. And uh, we saw two instances where uh, column space here, see, uh, we got a different column space in the first case, different column space in the second case. So okay. we'll join all the dots later. Okay. So here, uh, there is, yeah, what are the other spaces, by the way? So, so we were discussing uh, other than column space and the null space. One was column space, one was null space. Then there is something called as a row space. Row space, by the way, is nothing but a column space of A transpose. What is A transpose? It's a 1, a 3, a 2, and a 7. Okay, uh, pardon my handwriting. Uh, Okay, pardon my handwriting. Okay, so the matrix is uh, 1, 3, uh, 2, 7. Okay, that's the new matrix. So what will be the row space here? It's the span of the first vector and the span of the second vector. Okay, so x1 multiplied by 1, 2, x2 multiplied by 3, 7. That's the row space. Similarly, what is a left null space? Left null space is nothing but the null space of this particular matrix here it is the null space of this matrix 1 3 2 7 not 1 2 3 7 okay hmm. this also turns out to be zero okay hmm. so the important subspaces are column space null space row space and left null space now let us see uh, what's the deal with that uh, second problem that we had right hmm. so let us see what was that uh, problem uh, here here okay compared to this uh, this particular second problem as you can see uh, what has happened it's a special matrix by the way that's why we took this particular thing here you can see even the row space is as i told you not only the columns even the rows are highly related okay hmm? so in the row space also it happened uh, what happened you can see span of uh, one two only this uh, first vector got featured left null space by the way you can see in this particular case null space was all zeros here null space was not zeros but it was minus two one here it is minus three one do you see the correlation between the null space and the relationship between the rows so you can see uh the left null space you can see it is simply indicating that the second column is three times the first column with a minus sign okay hmm? so okay okay so that was a brief introduction about the row space column space uh, null space and the left null space. Okay. Hmm. Now let us go ahead. Now let us go ahead and uh, let us see uh, what uh, what next. Okay. Hmm. So uh, next we have something called uh, several terminologies together. There is something called as a rank. Then there is something called as row reduced echelon form. Uh, we have discussed row reduced echelon form, you know, uh, in detail in the class, I guess. There is something called as independence. Then there is basis and dimensions. And finally, there is a rank nullity theorem. Okay. So what is dimension by rank? Okay. Dimension is nothing but uh, dimension of the column space is called as the rank of the matrix it seems. Okay. Dimension of the column space is nothing but the rank of the matrix. Okay. So this rank is equal to number of pivots in the row reduced echelon form. Okay. Hmm. So let me take this spotlight. Okay. Rank is equal to number of pivots in the RRF and is the maximum number of linearly independent columns that can be chosen from the matrix. Okay. Okay. Some statement. Okay. Nullity of a matrix. Nullity of the matrix by the way is a dimension of the null space. Nullity of the matrix is dimension of null space. Rank. Rank is the dimension of column space. Nullity is the dimension of null space that brings us to rank nullity theorem rank of the column space plus rank of the null space will be equal to the number of columns that is called as the rank nullity theorem once again rank of the column space okay dimension of the column space which is nothing but dimension of the column space is nothing but rank dimension of the null space it is nothing but nullity will be equal to the number of columns it seems okay and uh, that thing is called as the uh, that is the rank nullity theorem should we go back to the previous question by the way so let us see what was the rank and the nullity of the previous two uh, matrices okay hmm? so previous two matrices okay so 
let me take the first one now what is the dimension of this particular matrix as i told you for this particular first matrix a uh, 1 3 it, it was a span of 1 3 and 2 7 1 3 was a vector in one particular direction 2 7 was a vector in different direction so together they were spanning uh, two dimensional space okay so here the dimension is 2 so the rank of this is 2 Whereas in this particular case, it was a span of only one vector. So it was a line. So the dimension of this second vector is one. Okay. Sorry, the rank of this particular vector is one. Okay. Similarly, what about the nullity? What about the nullity of uh, you know, first uh, matrix? Okay. So you can see this is origin. Okay. So the null space turned out to be origin. So the nullity of this particular matrix is zero. For the second matrix, 1, 3, 2, 6, uh, null space was a vector. Okay, so single vector only. So its nullity is equal to 1. There are better methods to find out. Let me take some bigger values. Let me take some bigger values. So here I have simply written 1 uh, numerical uh, all along. Okay, so what is it? There is a matrix A, which is having 1, 2, 3, 4 columns and four rows so we apply the row reduction we apply the row reduction and uh, we will find out wait let me take the spotlight here hmm. we go on applying the row reductions and we find out that there are one two three pivots okay there are three columns with pivot and one column okay which is this particular column there is one column which does not contain any uh, pivot okay wait a second uh, okay so there are one two and fourth column first second and fourth columns contain pivot and third column does not contain a pivot why is it so by the way because you can see here as it has been pointed out that this particular column is nothing but it is the a combination of column one and column two that is why this column does not contain a pivot that means all the columns here are not independent all the columns are not independent. The third column is somehow depends on columns first and uh, first and second columns. Okay. Hmm. So what is a pivot? By the way, you start from extreme left side. First non-zero value that you encounter is a pivot. See, I start from extreme left side. I encountered a one here. I started from left side. I encountered a one here. Here I start from left side. Here, say, I encountered a one here. This one turned out to be a zero. So okay, the last row turned out to be zero completely okay hmm. so now let us talk about now let us talk about a rank of this particular matrix okay so what did i tell you earlier rank of the matrix is nothing but the dimension of the column space now we can see uh, and uh, it is applicable for this matrix a also and it's row reduced echelon form and yeah there is one span one column is there two column three column but now we came to know that this particular third column does not contain a pivot and it's a combination of first and second column so it is uh, somehow it is uh, doesn't make any difference okay it doesn't have an identity of its own and somehow it's a combination of these two columns okay hmm? so that is why i would say the dimension of the column space is one two three only okay so number of pivots okay number of pivot columns okay is equal to rank otherwise number of non-zero rows also equal to rank okay so it is the number of pivots in the row reduced echelon form or it can be number of non-zero rows okay which is three okay so that is the rank of the matrix so uh, now i know now you know i did not do this uh, reduction in the those uh, you know two close to matrices earlier that's why you can try it for those matrices also okay and then there comes a very important term called as independence okay there is important term called independence so was this matrix independent were all the columns independent no column one two and four were only independent okay and these columns uh, corresponding see the first column second column and third column of the original matrix a of which we derive the rrf they you know 1 2 1 1 3 7 5 2 and 4 9 1 8 first second and fourth column they are called the basis of the column space they are called as the basis of the column space how many are there there are three okay so the dimension of column space by the way is only 
three, even though there are four columns, even though there are four columns. Okay, that was rank. Now let us talk about uh, the question is uh, verify the rank nullity theorem. Okay, what is nullity now? Nullity is the uh, dimension of the null space. Let us find out the null space first. So you need not find the null space of A, rather you can find the null space of the row reduced echelon form. Okay, because you can see A is fairly complex here. Row reduced echelon form. Uh, you can try row reduction, need not get the uh, uh, row reduced. You can simply find the uh, echelon form and get a upper diagonal matrix. Okay, hmm? by that also you can find the null space. Okay, you because um, otherwise the elimination sort of becomes difficult anyway here hmm? so let me try the null space x1 x2 x3 x4 there is something tricky here okay so let me tell you uh, column one contains a pivot column two contains a pivot and uh, they are called as but column three does not contain a pivot so there are three four variables at x1 x2 x3 and x4 now this particular column three corresponds to this particular variable x3 now which does not since this column does not contain a pivot it is called as free variable so that is uh, what you are supposed to do is you are supposed to always represent take that pivot variable as one okay sorry sorry the free variable as one now see here i assumed x3 equal to one with that i got an equation for x2 in terms of minus x3 equal to minus 1 x1 as 2 x3 equal to 2 okay okay so uh x3 i take it as 1 because and uh, based on this x3 only i decided for x2 and x1 and see here the null space has turned out to be you can see x3 the free variable always has to be 1 x4 somehow turned out to be 0 let it be 0 x2 equal to minus 1 in terms of x3 and x1 equal to 2 now you can see i got only single vector so the dimension of null space equal to 1 okay so the dimension of column space equal to 1 2 3 dimension of null space equal to 1 so what does the rank nullity theorem say rank plus nullity equal to the number of columns which is equal to 4 okay so we are relieved okay hmm. So that was about uh, a rank and uh, rank nullity theorem. So let me take one more. Okay, let me take uh, one more example here. Okay, hmm. so one, two, three, four columns are there in the beginning. Okay, let me do the row reduced echelon form. I did not do it. I used uh, you know uh, from thing here. Okay, uh, RRA finding RRA is very important. What is the rank here? The rank is equal to the number of uh, non-zero rows. Okay, so one and two, and also number of pivots one and two. Rank is equal to two. Now, see, very important thing is finding the null space. Okay, so out of four columns, only two columns had pivots. So two columns did not have pivots. Which one? Uh, second column and fourth column. So the corresponding variables x two and x four are called as free variables now x2 can take any value x4 also can take any value and what you are supposed to do is you are supposed to represent x1 and x3 in terms of x2 and x4 okay hmm? uh, in terms of x2 and x4 so you can see the way i write the null space you can see do you see now the dimension of null space you can see there is uh, this is one vector this is second vector so this vector can move somewhere around horizontally this uh, vector will move in some direction both of them span a two-dimensional plane so the dimension of null space equal to two okay column space what was the dimension of column space dimension of column space was nothing but rank of the matrix it was equal to two okay because see this one two right there are two bases the so first column and third column form the basis of the column space so rank nullity theorem so rank is equal to 2 nullity equal to 3 which matches the nullity the number of columns whereas you know these two are the basis and uh, by the way what is the column space here okay 
now this uh, column space means uh, we did not find it right so yeah. if at all you are trying to find the columns is actually you will find out that it is uh, some value of uh, with this particular column the span of uh, this column 1 2 minus 1 and a span of 3 9 3 okay so unless you do the row reduce special on form you will not come to know if i were to do it i would have simply written as uh, you know uh, span of uh, first second third and fourth columns okay hmm? that was about rank nullity uh, theorem independence basis functions and uh, null space okay mm -hmm. so let me do i will uh, do a one more video by the way on uh, other two things also as told okay